Hey Scott, this is Mike from Van Underwood here in Whiteville. Um, just want to show you some of the features. This is stock number 5006 on this Dodge Ram you're looking at. Just want to show you some of the features that it has. Um, the pictures, you know, explain a lot, but um, you know, hopefully this will help a little bit more. Um, first, I want to start here in the back. In the back here, um, we've got some little storage compartments here under the floor, both on this side and on the other side. And it has little storage bins, and the little storage bins come out. So that way you can use them, you can dump them, you can put ice in there, <clears throat> put some drinks in there, and um, not have to worry about it. You can just dump the ice or the water right on out. Use it as a little cooler if you'd like, or just regular storage. And it's completely out of the way when you're not using it. Um, also, underneath the seat, we've got some more storage. This opens up, and you've got some space here. So, like, say, if you want to put something underneath the seat, it's not going to roll out and roll around and get in the way. It's going to stay in there and be secure. And uh, the seats are nice, nice, firm, quality leather seats. Um, they look nice. I don't know if the camera picks up the color very good. But um, they're pretty deep um, black leather. So I'm going to go on the other side and show you. Alright, here's the other side. I just want to show you it does have the storage like on the other side there. And also this seat lifts up. And inside here is the, um, the subwoofer and the amplifier for the Alpine stereo system. And, um, you know, so it sounds really good. This does fold down here. So you've got cup holders and armrests in the middle there for, your, for the back seat drivers. There's some vents and a power supply in the back. Here in the front, um, you've got the power seats on the passenger side as well with the lumbar support. And um, you got this pocket right here on both the driver's side and the passenger side, and it's big enough to fit a full size um, file folder. You've got storage in here, and of course, you got a glove compartment. And of course, you got all these like Rams are really are known for the pockets here and here and everywhere. So that way, you've got storage, secure storage while you're driving, you know, like a little. Like if you want to set something in there or here, you've got an AC adapter. But I'll show you that here in a second and go back around. It does have the spray-in bed liner. And that way it's on there for good. You don't have to worry about water and moisture getting underneath a, a plastic bed liner and causing uh, rust issues. Um, here's the inside of the front door. Uh, you've got the pockets, cup holders, stuff like that. You got your power side mirrors right here. You push this button, and it um, it closes the side mirrors here. Good. I might not do it with the door open, but let me go ahead and hop in. Um, hop in and do that. All right. Yeah. You see how that closes them? In case you're going into a tight parking spot or something like that, you can just push that button, and it closes your side mirrors. You push it again, and they go right back out. Alrighty, um, so it has automatic headlights, and uh, here's your steering wheel. Um, you've got your cruise control settings here, and the cut. This is a really comfortable leather wrap steering wheel. It's got some thickness to it, but you really got to feel it to get an idea of how comfortable it is. Now it's a hot day today, and I'm noticing one thing um, as I'm sitting in this chair which is very comfortable with lumbar sport and all that, but it also is a cooled seat. And so you've got heated and cooled seats here in the front and also a heated steering wheel. So both the passenger and the driver can, you know, have that option. Um, okay, so back to the steering wheel. We've got the, um, we've got some menu controls here. Now you've got a nice uh, big menu back here and it's kind of like, I don't know if you can see with the, the sun glare there, but it's really crystal clear. Let's see if I can. All right, 
let's go back, let's go through different things here. You got your tire pressure and uh, fuel economy, at, you know, on the fly as you're driving. And um, it has tons of stuff in this menu system. And you can also uh, pair your phone to where you can answer your phone while you're driving and just push a button and answer it through through the sound system. And um, now the sound set, the, the radio has a, a volume button here in the back for the steering wheel. And you see that. So when your hand's comfortably rested here, you can adjust the volume. Really easy, and uh, without it, you know, using your other fingers there. And on this side, you can change the station. So, um, so that's how how that works. It's really comfortable. It's easy to use, and uh, everybody everybody likes it. That uses it. Um, here's your your radio system. You got like a little pocket there. And I don't know if you noticed there. It says um, it's got the Alpine premium sound system in it. Alrighty, um, this is a large touch screen and does have navigation and um, and you can adjust your climate controls here on the touch screen. Um, you can, you know, your seat controls there, um, different media settings um, depending on, you know, this one's got the, the CD player here underneath the center console, so it's kind of out of the way. Um, but it, it does have it. Inside here, you've got a SD card slot, USB and auxiliary input, and a USB charger right there. So that, that goes along with your stereo system here. Um, repair your phone and stuff like that. So there's, there's lots of features there in the, it's hard to say it's just a radio because there's so much more than just a radio in this. Um, now you have some manual controls for your uh, climate control right here, um, but you can also control everything through the touch screen as well. Um, here's your four wheel drive controls here, and um, here's your tow and haul button, car peak sensors which are on the back of the vehicle, there's sensors to where if you back up too close to something, it will um, beep at you, so if you, you know, you're hauling a trailer or something, you can go ahead and turn that off. Uh, another thing about this vehicle, Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. It does have the backup camera right here. And as you turn the steering wheel, so I'm, I'm turning the steering wheel, you can see it'll kind of give you an estimated path of where you're gonna where you're gonna go. And um, so that's really cool. And also you can see right here, I don't know if you can notice in the but this is the back bumper. And so when you're backing up a trailer, you can back it right up there without the first try, without any assistance. So that's pretty cool and, it, and it's really easy to see and, and clear and it gives you a wide angle shot so you got a, a pretty good amount of um, pretty good view from, from the back of the vehicle and it does have the the shifters right there so alrighty um, we've got a sliding rear glass up here open and close that that little button and um, you've got some tap lights here. And here's your garage door controls here. And uh, right here, I don't know if you can notice, that's a um, infrared, infrared temperature sensor. You've got an auto dim mirror and, uh, and headlights. Let's see here. Here's your center console. I showed you some features in it before, but I just want to give you an overall look of it. It's got that embossed RAM in it, which looks really cool. You got some pockets here. Looks like a little place to put your business cards. And a um, there's a 12 volt power supply there, and storage. You can put like pens right there. More storage there. There's your um, pocket here where you can put a file folder, or papers, or whatever. And um, inside here, storage. There's just storage everywhere. It's really convenient. Like in here, you can put a tablet. Or a cell phone or whatever, and, and charge it with the uh, the different available ports there. But anyway, I just want to show you some of the cool features, the things that I think is cool on this vehicle, and um, you know, hopefully this helped a little a little bit more beyond just pictures. Um, um, so if there's anything you want me to demonstrate, 
even a test drive video or anything like that, let me know. And uh, I can certainly do it because I know you, you don't live too close to us, so I'd like to, um, you know, help you as much as I can with the information on this vehicle. So let me know. My uh, phone number and email address will be in the description. And um, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.